Good day, my beloved brothers and sisters in Christ. Today, I'd want to share an important message from Our Lady to Luz de Maria with all of you. Therefore, please take a moment in sharing this video with others as we are heading closer and closer to the end of times. We believe that by sending these messages to the ends of the earth, more people will be able to convert and return to Christ before it is too late, thanks to the messages and warnings sent by heaven, and with the support of all of our prayers, fastings, and sacrifices in the aim of converting sinners. We are all aware about the current war and invasion that has been waged across Ukraine by Russia. Suffering has become the norm all around the world, as if it weren't bad enough. Following the invasion of Ukraine, the globe is facing even more misery and anguish. Many people were wounded and injured, and many more will continue to suffer greatly or maybe lose their lives as a result of this invasion. We must also consider others who will suffer indirectly as a result of this, which might number in the millions, as well as those who will experience depression, profound sadness, or perhaps lose hope because of this. Dear God's people, this is the moment, a time that should not be misused or taken advantage of. Before we proceed with these messages, let us start by reciting this short prayer asking our Heavenly Father for discernment and guidance, that the Holy Spirit may show us the truth and guide us when listening to this message. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Lord Jesus, you are the King of kings and our all-powerful God. There is nothing that you could not do. We implore you to give us an experience of your heart, draw us deep into your very being into the call for your love, for our sin of this world. Give us a glimpse of others the way you see others, loving them, forgiving them, and delighting in the way they give glory to you through their very existence. Help us to discern out of the open place of deep affection, so that we too might be a useful vessel of your love in the world. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Before we proceed with these messages, let us start by reciting this short prayer asking our Heavenly Father for discernment and guidance, that the Holy Spirit may show us the truth and guide us when listening to this message. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Lord Jesus, you are the King of kings and our all-powerful God. There is nothing that you could not do. We implore you to give us an experience of your heart, draw us deep into your very being into the call for your love, for our sin of this world. Give us a glimpse of others the way you see others, loving them, forgiving them, and delighting in the way they give glory to you through their very existence. Help us to discern out of the open place of deep affection, so that we too might be a useful vessel of your love in the world. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. This is a moment for us to pray without ceasing, to perform harsh penances, and to fast as never before for the conversion of sinners and those who will and are suffering as a result of various disasters, sicknesses, or even the cause of war. Pray the Rosary every day, attend Eucharistic celebrations, or daily Mass, and offer these poor souls at the elevation of our Lord Jesus Christ's body and blood. Now is not the time to disregard the calls of heaven, rather, we should spiritually prepare ourselves as death approaches like a thief in the night. Do not be afraid, beloved people of God, but instead place our utmost faith in our Lord Jesus Christ. For what evil could come upon us if God is with us? God who is the Alpha and the Omega, the Creator of the heavens and the earth, the God who dethrones rulers but exalts the humble. Suffering is a wonderful gift, give it to the Heavenly Father for the conversion of sinners, 
and many will be saved as a result of your generosity. Your reward in paradise will be great, since God is infinitely generous. He is all faithful and loving, and we should do our best to persevere as much as we can, not by our own strength but by the power and grace of God. Many people, especially in these times, will undoubtedly wonder, where is God? He dwells alongside you. Trust in God's timing as his timing is perfect. Because he is who he is, the Holy Spirit will lead you. Nothing can deceive him, and we pray to the Holy Spirit for the grace to discern these messages from heaven. Come, Holy Spirit, enter the hearts of your faithful and spark the fire of your love in them. They will be generated if you send forth your Spirit. And you will renew the earth's face. O God, who instructed the hearts of the faithful via the light of the Holy Spirit, Grant that through the same Holy Spirit, we may be genuinely wise and always enjoy his comforts, but most importantly, that we may perceive his messages. That we may always differentiate the truth from deception, and always glorify you through all of our works and actions. Through Christ our Lord, Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Our Lady started. Beloved children of my Immaculate Heart, I keep you inside my maternal womb, Ark of Salvation. My beloved ones, you are shielded by my Son's merciful love. My children's hearts are racing right now, knowing that the drums of war have ceased beating and they can only hear the thunder of weapon detonations. My son and this mother are in mourning because of the suffering of others, which will extend to the rest of the globe. People who care about my son do not back down. Give everything you have for all of humanity. The devil's claws accelerate world suffering and the coming of the Antichrist. What they live is an evil strategy to divide humanity. Offer the Holy Eucharist for the sake of humanity. As my son's people, do not stop praying, offering, loving the divine will, following the true magisterium of my son's church and being good creatures. Beloved children, prepare and offer immediately. Go to the Eucharistic celebration, offer to receive the Holy Eucharist in a state of grace for those who suffer the onslaught of the selfish interests of two powers which will be joined by more nations with desires for power, which is what prevails at this time. You are going through a really trying time, and the power of prayer will keep you going. It is critical that you deepen your love for the Holy Trinity in order to maintain your faith. Egoism has outgrown all boundaries. The desire for power has been exposed and what the disputing powers were concealing has been revealed. The warning is coming, and they must be beings of goodness, love, and brotherhood, repenting of their mistakes and beginning a new life. It is never too late to get help, you are not alone. My son will look after you. Keep unity, adore my divine son, and be faithful disciples of my son. I keep you in my belly. People of my son, beloved people I bless you. From your mother, Mary. Hail Mary most pure, conceived without sin. Hail Mary most pure, conceived without sin. Hail Mary most pure, conceived without sin. Commentary by Luz de Maria. Brothers and sisters, our Mother of Divine Love makes herself definitively present to each of us with great goodness and mercy. It is critical to take a break at this point. This has always been the case, but it is more so now than ever before. Stop and look within yourselves, brothers and sisters, if you haven't already. We carry so much within ourselves, and everyone knows who they are, but as our Mother says, 
Now is the time for inner revision. Perhaps this has been postponed, but we cannot continue to put off looking within ourselves and asking for repentance and forgiveness in order to continue as our mother says to us as new creatures, receiving the strength needed for the coming events, but most importantly for saving the soul and assisting our fellow men to find their way again. The union to which our blessed mother calls us should lead us to become sensitized as creatures of God, and cry out for all humanity. What is happening? This beginning of war leads us to seriously and responsibly reconsider the attitude, vision and union that as children of God, we fulfill in life. Amen. A prayer of commitment to Jesus' sacred heart. Jesus, most sweet. The human race's redeemer. Look down on us as we respectfully prostrate in front of the altar. We are thine, and we desire to be more firmly joined with thee. Today, every one of us freely consecrates himself to thy most sacred heart. Many have never known thee, and many have rejected thee because they despise thy precepts, have compassion on them all, most merciful Jesus, and pull them to thy sacred heart. Speaking not just of the loyal who have never abandoned thee, but also of the prodigal children who have abandoned thee, O Lord. Grant that they may quickly return to thy father's house, lest they die of wretchedness and hunger. Be thou king of those who are deceived by erroneous opinions, or whom discord keeps aloof, and call them back to the harper of truth and unity of faith, so that there may be but one flock and one shepherd. Be thou king of all those who are still involved in the darkness of idolatry or of Islamism, and refuse not to draw them into the light and kingdom of God. Turn thine eyes of mercy towards the children of the race, once thy chosen people, of old they called down upon themselves the blood of the Saviour. May it now descend upon them a labour of redemption and of life. Grant, O Lord, to thy church assurance of freedom and immunity from harm. Give peace and order to all nations and make the earth resound from pool to pool with one cry. Praise be to the divine heart that wrought our salvation to it be glory and honor forever. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you for watching and may God pour down an abundance of graces and blessings upon all of us. Till next time, stay blessed and keep praying.